What is going on YouTube? This is your boy Dan, aka Drive, bringing you guys the first ever Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Randomizer Shiny Lock. A brand spanking new playthrough here on my channel, which is going to be super epic. And I have never been this excited to start a brand new idea, start off a brand new playthrough. And I'm going to be explaining to you guys the rules of this playthrough, the Shiny Lock, the Randomizer, all that stuff throughout this episode and we are gonna have a blast so if you guys are incredibly excited for this brand new series I need you guys to show your love on that like button down below we're gonna set the goal at 1,000 likes for the first episode now this like goal is gonna be very important because the schedule for this LP is to be uploaded on Tuesdays and Thursdays and if we hit our like goals we will be uploading on Fridays as well and I'll explain through the process of this whole let's play in all the rules and stuff as to why it's a Tuesday Thursday potentially Friday LP because some of the episodes might take longer to film, which I'll get to, right? So, we are- I'm so hyped, guys. I'm so hyped. So, what we're gonna be doing here, and I'll, I'll kind of skip through some of the initial dialogue here, because I'm sure we've seen it before, right? This is Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. We know that, but there are some really cool twists here. So, one of the first things we're doing is we are randomizing Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. What that means is the Pokemon we encounter on every route, random. The Pokemon we encounter from the trainers that we face, random. Gym leaders, all that stuff are gonna have random Pokemon. We're not gonna know what they are. Now, because I've had issues with randomizers in the past and kind of steered away from them I decided to make some tweaks to what a standard randomizer might do so some of the things we have is we're actually randomizing based on base stat total so I'm not gonna run into Hydreigons or Suicunes or things like that on the first route of the game I've also made it so legendaries cannot be found in the wild randomly I just felt like yeah, legendaries are legendaries man they should not be just randomly found out on the first route of the game when I don't even have any Pokemon that are legit at that point in time so that was kind of my thought process there. So those are some of the ideas behind this randomizer. And if you don't know how to randomize a Pokemon game, feel free to throw, you know, Google search it, YouTube it, stuff like that. There's some funky ways to do it, but it's 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 doable. I figured it out. It took me about four or five hours. There's a lot of tutorials and stuff like that. So I would say look into that kind of stuff because it is doable, uh, but it could cost you some money to get to that point and all that other stuff. So that's just some, some little tidbits of information there. But let me jump into the rules here because I'm sure that's what a lot of you guys want to hear about is some of these rules for the Pokemon. Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Randomizer Shiny Lock. You're like, Shiny Lock? Oh my god. Does that mean he's gonna catch Shinies? What does that mean? What is a Shiny Lock? I have no idea what it is, guys. I don't know. No, I'm kidding. So, the Shiny Lock, man. We have a lot of different rules here, and let's just go through them one by one. So, the first rule is all Pokemon must be nicknamed. I actually never fixed my Daylight Savings Time. All Pokemon must be nicknamed. So, that's a standard Nuzlocke rule, right? Another one of the rules is you gotta catch the first Pokemon on every route you encounter. But we're gonna tweak that just so slightly because of the way this format works. Instead of catching a Pokemon on every route, we're gonna pick one route before each gym and catch a Pokemon on that route. So we're gonna catch eight Pokemon total on this playthrough that will be used. Now what's the catch? Well, all eight of those guys are gonna be shiny. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna pray to the shiny gods that we can find some serious shiny luck on this playthrough and do some serious shiny hunting. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be picking Pokemon that I'm gonna be shiny hunting for so the first Pokemon I encounter on the first route I get to right so we're gonna say route 102 which is right before Petalburg City first Pokemon I encounter on that route that's the Pokemon I'm gonna to try to find as a shiny form and use that on our team so there is gonna be one the randomization of the just the game in general because it's a randomizer two it's gonna be the random of what I encounter on that route and then I'm gonna do my best to find that as a shiny before we can proceed in the playthrough so that means I'm catching one shiny before each gym leader for a total of eight Pokemon to use throughout the playthrough. Now, you see in the little boxes to my right side here, I guess your left, uh, they have little three little hearts in it. And what the, the, the hearts mean is each Pokemon has three lives. Since I'm only using eight Pokemon on this playthrough, eight shinies, I need the Pokemon to have a little bit more durability because otherwise, like in a standard Nuzlocke, you would catch like 20 to 30 Pokemon if you caught a new Pokemon in every route. Whereas in this game, you don't really have that luxury if you're doing a Shiny Lock, which, let me throw this out there too really quick before I kind of get off on a tangent. The Shiny Lock is an idea that people have said and done before, but I'm tweaking the rules to make them my own because I think that the way they've functioned in the past didn't really make sense. I think that the, the rule set does need some tweaking for it to make more sense as we're going to find the lovely May here uh, flicking her bow up or whatever. So. That's kind of that. So, eight Pokemon total, one before each gym. Each Pokemon gets three lives for us to work with. So, if they faint right away, the shiny faints right away, it's got two more lives. And that's it. If it loses all three lives, 
it's done. It only gets th three lives or, or, you know, whatever. So uh, it could be revived once, it gets its second life, it could be revived again, and that's it. If it faints again, that's it. So two revives, three lives. I think you guys get that at that point. Only shiny Pokemon can be used through battles with gym leaders and trainers. That's one thing to keep in mind as well. You can really only use these, these shiny Pokemon for the battle. Now, I will be using my starter Pokemon to help me catch the shinies because through the deck snap, I'm gonna have to be battling a lot of Pokemon, things like that. Have no fear, you're not gonna have to sit through 10 hour episodes of me battling and trying to get my shinies. I'm gonna be fast forwarding those parts and just to have you guys see the shiny highlights and then we're gonna play through the Nuzlocke as we normally would. So you're not gonna have to sit there through these incredibly long episodes because some of these shinies, they could take me 20 hours to find. And uh, you know, it's gonna be kinda tough. So that's part of the reason why the episodes are spaced out a little bit. If I encounter some really bad luck, I might need a little bit more time to, to allow myself to catch these shinies in the first place because uh, you can't really control that kind of stuff so those are some of the, the rules there um, and one last thing is like I said my starter will be used to help me catch the shinies because otherwise I don't want to over level my shinies and I think the last thing I wanted to mention is utility Pokemon are going to be used as well if I need Pokemon for HMs or TMs or whatever or, you know field mechanics like sticky hold or suction cups or something like that then I do have the luxury of, of if I run into a Pokemon like that sweet scent there's a bunch of different shiny hunting mechanics like dex nav and chain fish and all that stuff so that's kind of all that we do have a question of the day before I get too far here what shiny do you most want to see on this playthrough we have the entire gen 1 through 6 as our disposal here that we could potentially get and uh, we're gonna pick our starter here and to me it makes no difference who I pick I'm actually gonna pick Torchic because I think it's got a lot of good attacking moves at the beginning and I think that's gonna allow us to uh, hopefully speed things through with the deck snap as our first shiny hunt will be route 102 uh, which is what we're gonna be deck snapping on right before Petalburg but we can't Excuse me, we can't do that until we talk to Wally and all that other stuff. So the the actual playthrough will start at that point. Um, once we get to Wally, we talk to Wally. We say, "All right, Wally, this is the dealio," and he's gonna say, "All right, well now you get the upgraded Dex Snap, and that is when the hunt is gonna begin." Now I did not hack in a Shiny Charm. I don't have a Shiny Charm in this game. I'm not gonna hack the Shiny Charm in this game. I'm not gonna complete the Pokedex to doing that stuff. Everything is gonna be legit. The only thing I still haven't figured out is I may try to get some super repels in this game. I might try to like hop on and, and just send some super repels over to the game or whatever, just to kind of help with the shiny hunting. I'm gonna try without doing it at first, but if it gets incredibly annoying, just for the purposes of trying to save myself some time, I might throw some repels in the game, but that's gonna be that. So hopefully all the rules are pretty set in stone. You guys get everything. There's, they're in the description, so feel free to check out the description. And like I said, it's going to be a Tuesday, Thursday LP. If we hit the like goals on every episode, Tuesday and Thursday, I'll give you guys a Friday episode as well. Um, and again, like I'm going to be doing my best to stick to the schedule as best as possible. I don't see any reason why I can't. But if there is an instance where, you know, the shiny hunting just doesn't seem to happen, or I can't quite get that shiny or whatever it is, then I'll keep you guys posted on Twitter. So simple enough. Um, but your support is going to be greatly appreciated on this series, guys. I'm gonna need you guys to turn the heck up on that like button for this brand new playthrough I gotta give a shout out to my homie rig pop graphics who made this beautiful layout the thumbnail and of course the introduction Which I think is all super duper awesome, and I'm really excited for this playthrough guys I've been wanting to do a shiny only Nuzlocke for the longest time guys and like trying to figure out how to Structure it to make it function. Here's our first randomized encounter, and it is actually a worm pool Wow, that's actually kind of funny that we find a worm pool as our first randomized encounter but I'm curious to see here uh, how, how that continues. I'm actually going to faint it because it should be a pretty easy ember. But I've been wanting to do this shiny only playthrough for the longest time, guys. And I was trying to figure out how to do it because it doesn't make sense to catch one shiny every route. Like, that would be incredibly obnoxious and brutal. And you don't really get to enjoy the Pokemon that you get because if they faint, you lose the shiny and stuff. So giving him three lives, I think, is like way, way better. So I think we could just kind of keep moving. I wonder if I'm going to encounter something other than... A wormple here because that was kind of random but like I said I did randomize based on base stat total and there's a manky so it works the randomizer did work <laughs> um, I randomized based on base stat total so you're gonna find Pokemon like manky like Nidoran maybe like Zubat things like that like that are weaker because I don't want to run into like Hydreigon or, or Exploit or something like that right at the beginning of the game I've just never been a fan of that kind of thing so uh, one other thing if you hear the puppy in the background I apologize she had surgery a couple days ago so she's got to be confined to her little cage right now so she can't like tear open her stitches and stuff so if you hear her crying in the background I apologize but uh, not much I could do about that so I, I, sh I assure you that she's safe and, and good to go so uh, so here's the Pokemon Center we already know about all this stuff 
not a big deal, but I'm really hyped. And if you guys like the idea of this playthrough, if you like the rule set that I came up with, all that stuff, please let me know. If you have any ideas in terms of tweaks, I'm down to hear them. Um, I, I've brainstormed quite a bit to get to the point where we're at right now, where I'm like feeling pretty good about this rule set and stuff. So I don't really think it needs to be tweaked too much because it seems pretty simple, right? Uh, so hopefully things will work. And like I said, when I do go for those shiny hunts, let's say we go to Route 103 after we get our our, our deck snap or whatever, and I'm, I find a random, uh, I don't know, Joltik, let's say. Let's say I run into a Joltik. Um, I'm going to search for that Joltik, and then you guys will see me searching for it but it'll be sped up. There won't be a commentary until I find the shiny, and then when I find it, you'll get to see my reaction, of course, and you'll see the encounters above my head, which I'll be updating as I go, and all that stuff. So it'll be kind of like, um, it'll be sped up with music. So if you don't want to watch that part, you could just skip it. So for those who aren't that interested in the shiny hunting part, that's fine, you just skip it. If you want to see the shiny hunting part and see how many encounters I go through, you can just listen to the music I'll be playing. And actually, I just realized we're facing Athena. It's not even my, it's not even like the opponent's, uh, it's not even like a Trico or whatever, or a Mudkip, it's a Gothita. Which uh, it's probably actually gonna beat me here. So the uh, the playthrough doesn't actually start until uh, until P Diddy walks in. Now it doesn't start until um, until I uh, get that deck snap and I get to start with my shinies. But um, luckily I have 11 potions here because otherwise I think I would lose to this thing. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's actually funny. So I've only ever done one randomizer before in my uh, in my YouTubing. Uh, career or so and it was a soul silver randomizer and it didn't really make it that long But I feel a lot better about this one I was able to to really customize the randomization settings to make them a little bit more favorable to what I think is What I should rock with and stuff like that and we were actually in a little bit of trouble here because if I get uh, Hit confusion here. Okay, so we're gonna live but uh, I'm having a hard time with this Gathita. Luckily we have a, a ton of potions so I could try to get through this first matchup here I did not expect to face a Gathita first of all and second of all did not expect it to be doing this much to me um I guess stab confusion is just put in the work. He was getting some high rolls there too, so. Uh, so here's the problem. If I hit myself in confusion, we might actually be in trouble. Maybe. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Okay, crit ember, please. Not it. Burn. No. Okay. So sorry for the potion spam here, but I just kind of want to get through this trainer here because, again, like, the Torchic isn't part of the LP per se. It's it's just there to help us catch other Pokemon because if you've never used the Dex Nav, what you'll find is after every every uh, five encounters you do, the Pokemon's levels increase. So I could be running into, like, level uh, 15 Pokemon right away, like, wild level 15 Pokemon. So uh, we do kind of need something like the Torchic to help us do that. So don't be surprised if Torchic ends up as a Blaziken by, like, episode five. And it's like level 50. That's happened to me before in other shiny Dex Navi playthroughs that I've done on Twitch. So um, <laughs> I, I think we'll be all right. But again, I don't plan on using the Torchic for trainer battles outside of the first few as I try to skillfully dodge some of the trainers moving forward here. But uh, luckily, we were able to beat the Gathita. That was interesting. Um, I'm really excited for the randomizer part of this. Like I said, I've been pretty strongly opposed, I suppose, to the idea of doing randomizers because I've always been so turned off by the fact that the Pokemon you encounter don't really make sense and it's like, to me, I like the authenticity and the trueness of, of a Pokemon game uh, where you find these low-level Pokemon at the beginning and they slowly get stronger as you continue your journey, which maybe it wouldn't necessarily be like that in the real Pokemon world, right? Like, it's not gonna say, oh, this is where all the new trainers start, so we're gonna make the Pokemon lower leveled. Yeah, I get that, but I just don't think it's... I don't know normal or cool to run into I keep using Hydreigon as an example for whatever reason But running into like Hydreigon at like level four. I'm like come on like that to me that kind of breaks the experience I've always been about immersion when I play through like games in general Skyrim for example Like I'm all about the immersion aspect. I want it to feel as real as possible And I know it's Pokemon with all these little monsters that To me and you are real, but you know we get it right so that's that. So I mean, I'm so hyped for this playthrough, guys. I've tweeted out about it. I'm really like, uh, I've wanted to do a shiny Nuzlocke. I'm sorry to keep hyping on it. It's just been like this. This idea has been circling my head for no lie, months and months and months. And then finally, and it sounds really stupid because it was such a simple solution, but finally it hit me, and I was like, I'll just give the, the shinies like a few lives, and that's it. And then we don't have to worry about catching a shiny on every route because that would be absolutely obnoxious. Um, now I just have three lives for every shiny and we're good to go and I keep the nuzlocke aspects in the game And I get to do the shiny part and we have a randomizer factored in what more could you want from a let's play? It's amazing. I'm so so excited. So now I have to go see my father. Thanks ma Appreciate it lady 
So, <laughs> I like what war, what war. So anyway, uh, don't forget to let me know what shiny you want to see the most. For me, it, it is a slight possibility, I suppose. Male Burmy, dude. If I had a chance to get a shiny Mothum on this game, I would just be on another planet. I'd be super duper, super duper hyped. So we actually just got the uh, the Dex Nav Plus, which maybe we actually can just start right away. I thought that we wouldn't be able to start this soon but i guess we can i guess we can start sooner than i thought so i'm not going to count this route i'm actually going to count the next route as the route we're going to hunt on just because for whatever reason i just felt like route 102 was the route so there's another manky so we're, like i said this we're not going to count this route the first pokemon i encounter on the next route is going to be our target pokemon that's going to be the pokemon we actually go after for the purposes of our first shiny which is awesomely enough it looks like we're actually going to be able to see today and then hopefully for episode two i will caught have caught the shiny which that's the plan right so episode two if all goes well there will be a shiny on the team uh to kick off the episode so uh like i said the hunting is going to be all sped up and whatever else you, you, you'll get it right you'll get it it'll be cool uh don't forget the you know the comment section question of the day like the video if you're digging it i'll have the playlist in the description as well so you'll never miss an episode it should be pretty simple tuesdays thursdays Fridays if the demand is insane we might we might even add more to it we'll see what happens but that's the plan so should be good to go and uh, looks like no Pokemon actually shows up because Poochien is not here so it doesn't actually work I think that's how this randomizes the, the deal there because it doesn't look like there's a, a Pokemon there there's Torchic wait so I can catch wild Torchics here it looks like I don't know if that's just an error or what happened but I think that actually is a possibility. So, anyway, do I have Pokeballs? If I do, then uh, we should be good. Unless I just... Yeah, I do. So, I have 10 Pokeballs. So, whatever the first Pokemon I encounter on this route is, that is going to be the Pokemon that we go for. And it looks like the Wingles are flying above here. What is the first Pokemon going to be? This could be the future of our playthrough. It is going to be randomized into a Nuzleaf. Why is there a Nuzleaf right here? Why? Base that total, bro. Level 3 Nuzleaf. Well, that is going to be the first Pokemon we shiny hunt for. It's going to be a Nuzleaf on a Nuzlocke, on a shiny lock. How much more fitting could it be? Oh, my goodness. Can I catch this Nuzleaf without a problem? So, I have to catch it. And the reason why I'm going to catch it is because it allows me to search for it in the Dex Nav at that point in time. So, it looks like Nuzleaf is going to be uh, going to be the first shiny we go for here, which isn't bad. I don't know if Roxanne's going to have Rock-type Pokemon. So, maybe it's not going to matter at all, but... It looks like I could just throw a Pokeball here and hopefully catch this thing without a problem. Maybe? Okay, okay. that didn't happen. So he does have Pound, though, which is really nice. At least he has an offensive move. Uh, that's really good. I'm actually surprised to see a stronger Pokemon like Nuzleaf at this point in the LP. I, I'm a little surprised about that, but that's okay. Hopefully we can catch it because I only have all these Pokeballs here, and it doesn't seem like it's working exactly too well here. Um, let's see here. Come on. Catch the, catch the Nuzleaf, man. It's, it's level three. It's already weakened to the red. Stay in the Pokeball, buddy. Come on. One, two, three. Yeah! So we caught the Nuzleaf. Uh, you guys can let me know in the comments section below what you want me to name this thing, actually, because obviously I'm not going to name this one. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to name the, the shiny one that we hopefully eventually catch on the next episode. And uh, I think that means we're in really good shape here. So we're going to catch the Nuzleaf. I don't have to nickname this one. You guys can give me some ideas in terms of what you want me to nickname it. And I think that's going to be where we wrap up here, guys, today. Because what I have to do now is hop into the shiny hunting part of things, which will be sped up on the next episode. Hopefully, we'll be able to get our shiny Nuzleaf. And we'll be able to continue on our journey here in Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Randomizer Shiny Lock. The first of its kind innovating here on youtube.com slash xa drive make sure you guys subscribe if you're new hit that like button show your support 1000 likes guys hit that like goal so we can get that friday episode and don't forget our question of the day what shiny do you want to see the most it looks like nuzleaf will hopefully be our first one i'm gonna get to the grind here and we'll see what happens my name is dan i also go by a drive and i'm gonna catch you guys later peace